Yes. Jackie and I are just doing some, running some errands right now. I'm just going to the grocery store to get some lettuce and stuff for salads and, and some chicken breasts because they're on sale. But I thought I would tell you guys an update. Um, I have an update on this part of my journey to uh, trying to conceive. So back when I started the first vlog, I had just gotten blood work done and I had went to the lab and my doctor ran up all the blood work to test all my hormone levels, um, all the things, thyroid, blood sugars, you name it, he checked it. The results for that actually came in and so I had a phone call appointment with him uh, last week and he went over that with me. It was a bit of a gong show with that though because <laughs> It was a phone call appointment and I had just come in from outside with Jackson. He was covered in mud, totally filthy. I had to throw him in the tub really quickly. He was on, the doctor was on call, so I didn't know what time he was going to phone. He ended up phoning right when Jackson was in the bathtub and it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Okay, does anybody else's kids, when you're on the phone, go absolutely wild? Like you can't even hear the other person on the other line. They have to be in your face and like have their two cents in the phone call conversation. It, is that normal? Is that a thing? Because that's the stage we're at with him right now. Whenever somebody phones, he's like, hi, hi. And he's like in the conversation, in the, the speaker of the phone, any kind of phone call, video call, you name it. So th this is the thing, he was in the tub, the doctor finally phoned. I had waited weeks for this phone call because he couldn't do the last one. And I was waiting to hear what the next step was with my health, with my, my lab results and what the doctor wanted to do going forward. And so I finally got this phone call and Jax is in the tub. I couldn't hear the doctor, it was, you know how bathrooms are so much louder, like they echo more? everything was echoing he's splashing in the water and I couldn't just leave Jackson because he's in the tub that's not safe so I'm trying my best to hear what he's saying he goes over the lab results and I did hear this part that the lab results came back good for almost everything except for my hormone levels which is not a shocker because PCOS is annoying that way and my hormones it's not a surprise that my hormones are all out of whack so, but he said, my progesterone levels are really bad and I'm not ovulating at all. So that was a little bit deflating to hear that. Um, I don't know how I ended up hearing any of that part of the conversation because he was Mr. Yapper back there, yapping away. So anyways, I, I happened to just like turn around for a sec because I was trying to, you know how you're trying to hear someone talk and plug your ear? And as I turned around, Jackson took up, he has buckets and toys in his tub. He took buckets full of water and he just dumped it all over the floor. And as he's dumping this water, it's going all over the bathroom. Like, I'm not even kidding. There was not a square into that bathroom that wasn't soaked with like this much water. He, he did it a few times. I'm trying to keep my composure because like this doctor, he's, my doctor's still talking in my ear, telling me information. And so while he's dumping this water, I'm trying to listen because he's telling me important stuff about my blood results. And so the long story short, he's telling me about my progesterone levels. And he said, I want to start you on a medication that will help replenish those, the progesterone, those hormones, and it should help you ovulate. So I was like, okay. And as he's explaining that, you have to remember, it isn't quiet. I'm not able to really hear fully what he's saying. Jackson's loud. He's getting all upset with me because I'm not focused on him, right? He really quickly got out of the tub and the poor kid slipped on the floor because the water was there. I hadn't had a chance to clean it up yet. I was trying to do all these things at once. Then he's, oh, I felt for him. He's wailing and wailing. The doctor's still talking away. I'm not, I'm missing everything this guy's saying. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I hear this other medication brought up into the conversation. Don't remember, I, at that time, I couldn't tell you what it was called. And he said, there's a possibility, a slight possibility, this medication has been known for people to conceive twins. And I was like, 
uh, what? Did twins? And I just like dropped the towel and I was like, what did I miss? What did I miss in this conversation? And why are we talking about twins? <laughs> and I was just like, I froze. Oh, I froze. And I was like, okay. And Jackson's crying. He's telling me about twins. I'm just like, mercy. So anyways, I just, I ended up, uh, he's telling me all the stuff. I won't bore you with that. This story was crazy. And so Jax, I ended up taking care of him. I got him out of the tub and the doctor's still talking away. And I'm really trying to hear it all because this is really important to me. I've been waiting for this phone call. And he just chuckled because he's such a good doctor. He, he knows us and he, he delivered Jackson. So he chuckled and he's like, Joy, here, just phone my office on Monday and she'll tell you, the receptionist will tell you all these instructions all over again. So that was wild. Anyways, I looked it up in that medication. It's only a 4% chance of twins. And so I took a deep breath and I was like, oh, okay. And like, it, it, it is paired with the progesterone, like when you do fertility treatments. And so it was kind of a scary feeling because I was like, I didn't have to take that the last time. But I'm in a different situation now, I guess, where I need to. And yeah, the reality sank in and I was like, it's this whole procedure where I have to go get blood work done each month to see where my progesterone levels are and my ovulation levels. And it's, it sounds like it's going to be a little, a little bit of work. <laughs> But I ended up, Jackie, I brought him with me. I went to the pharmacy today. And I got the progesterone. And I got this other medication. So I have the medications in hand and I start it tonight. So the, this just got so much more real and so much more exciting because if this works and helps my body with the PCOS and the issues that I'm having with my hormones, I could be pregnant soon. And it's kind of like a cool feeling to know that. I pray, I pray this works. I pray it helps what my body needs. Anyways, that was just a little update. I've been trying to have a minute to kind of sit down and share that with you guys because it's been a, such a there's been so much going on but I thought no now's the time because I just picked up the medication I just it just got that much more real to me that I don't know that maybe this could happen and it's gonna be interesting I am leaving it in the Lord's hands I'm not gonna Mommy. I'm gonna try not Mommy. to be disappointed if it doesn't because I trust God's timing. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Yeah. Help. I trust his timing. Mommy. Anyways, you guys, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, so I got my Prometrium filled. This is what's going to help my body. The missing hormone I need to start for baby number three. So I'm going to take it. Did I say baby number three? Baby number two. If I said baby number three, I meant baby number two. Pills down the hatch. 